By those winds sent forth in gusts. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wal Mursalat Urfan. By the winds sent continuously. Wind blowing. Fal Asifati Asfa. And the winds that blow violently. Fal Asifati Asfan. And by the scattering winds who scatter the clouds. We have read two surahs of this style. Masafat is a fun, Fazajirat is a drum, Fatariat is a kran, Surah to Safat. Wazariat is a drum, Walhamilat is a kran. The second was Masariat. Third is this Mursalat. And I explained at that time that here either the winds or the angels are mentioned. Except the final fifth of this style will be. That will be Suratul Adiyat. There the horses are referred. But in the four, these are either winds or the angels. And I have also mentioned, we and Ruh, they are very close to each other. Just as Nar and Noor are very close to each other. Ri and Ruh, we can't see air. We know that air is here. We can't see it. We know that Ruh is on us. We can't see it. So Ri and Ru are also very close. So first two oaths which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking here, they refer to winds. But the rest they offer they refer to the angels. And by the winds that spread clouds. And the scattering winds, scattering clouds. Then, and those angels who bring criterion, then serving them similarly. Now, and those angels who deliver a message, and they bring down remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hearts of the people. As justification or warning. By way of excusing or warning. By way of either cut off the excuses or to warn. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends this zikr, and mulqiyat zikran, and the, the angels, you know, they recite that zikr. They recite it to Muhammad sallallahu and Muhammad then recited it to the people. So these are the, the oaths, and they are the most difficult portion of Quran, the interpretation of these oaths. And there are so many views. But what is the fact that on which these oaths are taken? <laughs> Indeed, what you are promised is to occur. <laughs> Definitely. What you are being promised is going to happen. Don't think this mention of resurrection and you know, Asa, Al Qiyama, Al Jannah, Al Jahannam, there is nothing. No, these are facts and these will come before your eyes. In the Matu Aduna, Lavake, whatever you are being promised, it will happen. So when the stars are obliterated, so when the stars will be made dim. And when the heaven is opened. And when the heaven will be cleft asunder. And when the mountains are blown away. And when the mountains will be scattered. Like dust. And when the messenger's time has come. And when the messengers will be gathered to their appointed time. The messengers will be summoned. Come on. The messenger who was sent to Qawm Aad. 
come on and testify that you had delivered that message that we sent to you, to your people, Aad. So they will be summoned. Is that Rasul Uqtata? For what day was it postponed? To what day has all this been delayed? This thing has been deferred, delayed. For what day? Which day? For the day of judgment. It has been deferred till the day of decision, day of judgment. And what can make you know what is the day of judgment? And what will make you realize what is that day of decision and judgment? Woe that day to the deniers. Woe on that day to the beliers. Now this ayah will be repeated ten times. Woe to those who belied, who rejected, who, stay, who said there is no truth in these things. Did we not destroy the former peoples? Did we not destroy the ancients? Then we will follow them with the later ones. And we shall cause the later ones to follow them. If we destroy those people of Nu and Hud and Saleh, we can destroy Quraysh also. We can destroy Romans also. We can destroy others also. Thus do we deal with the criminals. In this way we deal with the guilty. Woe that day to the deniers. Woe on that day to the beliers. Did we not create you from a liquid disdained? Now these are all signs from different aspects of what we see, our observations. Did we not create you from a hateful fluid? And we placed it in a firm lodging. And then we placed it in a secure depository, the womb of your mother. For a known extent. Till an appointed term. And we determined it, and excellent are we to determine. So we appointed and measured, and how excellent are we, the measurers. Woe that day to the deniers. Nine months we kept you in the wombs of your mothers. Have we not made the earth a container? Have we not made this earth a receptacle? Of the living and the dead. For the living as well as for the dead. He is sustaining the living, giving food to, to give you the sustenance. But it will receive you when you are dead. In its womb, again you go into the womb of this earth. Ayam wa amwata.
وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا رَوَاسِيَ شَامِخَاتٍ وَأَسْقَيْنَاكُمْ مَا أَنْفُرَاتًا And we placed therein lofty, firmly set mountains, and have given you to drink sweet water. وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا رَوَاسِيَ شَامِخَاتٍ And we have placed therein lofty mountains. وَأَسْقَيْنَاكُمْ مَا أَنْفُرَاتًا And we gave you to drink sweet water. Woe that day to the deniers. All these things are proofs that whosoever has given you all these blessings, he will question you also. He will bring you to book. You will be account, accounted. And this grand accountability, you know, that will decide either you are a failure. So if there is failure, you will be, you are bound to go to hell. And this is the woe to those who were beliars. <laughs> They will be told, proceed to that which you used to deny. And then it will be said to them, now go to that place which you had been belying. That's hell. You said, no, 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 nothing of this is going to happen. Proceed to a shadow of smoke having three columns. Go towards that shadow having three branches. But having no cool shade and availing not against the flame. Neither there is any shade in it nor availing against the flame. Indeed, it throws sparks as huge as a fortress. This is surely, it is shooting out sparks like castles or logs of woods. As if they were yellowish black camels. As if they are golden yellow camels. Woe that day to the deniers. Woe to those who were deniers. This is a day they will not speak. This is the day that they are not speaking, not saying anything. Nor will it be permitted for them to make an excuse. Nor they shall be allowed to make excuses and present their excuses. Woe that day to the deniers. Woe to those who were deniers. This is the day of judgment. We will have assembled you and the former peoples. This is the day of decision and decision and judgment. We have gathered you and also those who were before you. So if you have a plan, then plan against me. So if you have something, you can have some plot. So now use that plot against us. Bring up, up, up out your 
your your arguments Woe that day to the deniers. Woe to those who were deniers. Indeed, the righteous will be among shades and springs. Now the second section, in the muttaqin of his dilal in Wa'uyun. On the contrary, the God-fearing will be in the shades and springs. وَفَوَاكِهَ مِمَّا يَشْتَهُونَ And fruits from whatever they desire. وَفَوَاكِهَ مِمَّا يَشْتَهُونَ And such fruits as they will desire and like. كُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا هَنِيئًا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Being told, eat and drink in satisfaction for what you used to do. كُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا هَنِيئًا جَذَا بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ Eat and drink pleasantly for what you were doing in, in your life. إِن Indeed, we thus reward the doers of good. Thus we recompense and reward to those who attain excellence in their deen. Woe that day! to the deniers. Woe to those who were deniers. O disbelievers, eat and enjoy yourselves a little. Indeed, you are criminals. Okay. Go on eating and enjoying comforts of this world for some, for a little while. Kalilan, in the Kumbhujilimun, you are guilty, you are culprits. You are going to be brought to the judgment. Woe that day to the deniers. Woe to those who were deniers. And when it is said to them, bow in prayer, they do not bow. When it is said to them, you should bow down before your Lord, they are not ready to bow down. Woe that day to the deniers. Woe to those who were deniers. Then in what statement after the Quran will they believe? So now these people, on what discourse, which admonition, will, which sermon will be, will be beneficial for them, that they will have the faith and they will believe in it. After this Quran.